Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We've got a new set of tools here, and in this case, they're actually drill bits that are from a company that we've already done a couple reviews on here. It is Toolint, and they make the majority of their tools, as you can see here, in China. Now, some of you may think that's a bad thing, but Toolint's doing something a little different here, and it's worth diving in and seeing uh, ultimately how well these perform. And that's going to be part of this video. We're going to take a look at them. I want to try them out, actually drilling them side by side with some other manufacturers. And we also want to see how they stack up design wise and how much they cost. Where do you find them at? And ultimately, are they worth your money to purchase? So we'll go through all that here right now in this video. And so we'll kick it off here. Part number for this is AU058005. Sizing is quarter to three quarter, eighth to one half and 3 16 to 7 8 as you'll see them all individually marked here. Now they come in these cool little plastic holders, a little more upscale than some of the other stuff that you might buy out there. Again, there's much more expensive tool bit sets out there, but Toolant uh, kind of likes to pride themselves on price for what you get, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, now they're all individually labeled, and they all have these nice little plastic containers that hold them all, and they even go then one step further to put a little piece of hose on the end of there, to keep it from smacking the end if you, for whatever reason, drop it. Now the packaging for this is actually probably pretty good. I mean, you could take it and throw them in your uh, work truck or wherever you want in this plastic container, it'd be just fine. Or you can even keep them all organized in that same box if you wish to do so. Now, as far as design here, again, these are gonna be your, I'll pop the top off here so you can see it. These are gonna be your cobalt steel and what's unique about this setup, sorry, I'm gonna get some focus here. You can see the sizing, all right? As you step down, the stepping is this way, you can see what size you are, quarter, five sixteenths, all the way down to three quarters. And that allows you, if you guys are new to this, to use your drill and drill into material down to the depth that you need to do it and then stop without overdoing it. And that saves you, you know, uh, from using multiple drill bits on a job if, if needed. And it also allows you, if you're digging it, drilling a big hole, to keep from switching out bits multiple times to get that desired hole size. You just keep stepping through the material as you come through the other end. So it's a great idea, a great technique, and it's been out there for a bit. Now, what's also unique about this is these four spiral flutes. I'll allow the material, as you're cutting through, to press down into here and then ultimately be removed out the top of the bit. So more flutes, the more materials able to be removed faster, but there also is a trade-off. You have less surface area as well. So over time, that could be, uh, um, depending on what material you're in, uh, obviously softer material all day long for flutes, but as you get harder, uh, there may be a trade-off to stick into, say, a two-flute design. And I'll show you one here. We'll talk more about it in a second, but here is a two-flute design that has more surface area. And maybe you want to go slower, too. Cutting a little bit slower, a two flute will do a little bit slower job than a four flute design. Okay, so uh, as far as labeling, they do a good job, all laser etched. And this is your size right here. You can see it's the high speed steel. Now, uh, the steel to this is obviously cobalt, but they've also gone a step further and they've done a titanium aluminum nitrate finish. So the when you're looking at this bit alone, cobalt in generally, uh, and on the on their website they say for this drill bit set, uh, it is an M35 cobalt. An M35 cobalt traditionally comes in at around 65 HRC, which is higher than well, that's the highest that this set goes. And I've already given it a scratch, and it actually scratched back uh, because the next part of that is the coating. The coating, coating on this, this titanium aluminum nitrate finish, goes above the 65 HRC that, that cobalt is and takes you all the way to 89 HRC. So I've tried to scratch this and this, nothing here. And you know we'll give you guys a quick shot here just so you could see. I can't even scratch that. There you go. I 
I mean, I'm just barely given any sort of like anything on there. But here's the funny part: you try to take that to here, and I'm, you, what you'll see is actually the material coming off. So you see that little metal it actually wipes right off. I'm actually doling my 65 HRC set. So these are extremely hard, and 89 HRC coating is an exceptionally strong coating. So good start, definitely good start to the set. Now. All the others are roughly the same. They're just going to be a slightly different step pattern, right? You see, one's a little less aggressive. One comes a little bit faster. And then this last one is just for getting through and getting a smaller hole. But these flutes allow for you to get a little bit more precision as you go. So awesome set looks like a great set what we'll do next is I want to show you just real quick in comparison because we'll do a side-by-side -side test with these I haven't tried these out yet but um, here's your Hercules this is your Hercules cobalt set and that's this is found in Harbor Freight and again high-speed steel cobalt this looks like their own kind of maybe titanium finish but not similar to that uh, TILN or that titanium aluminum uh, aluminum nitride finish not the same as this this is a harder finish so here's a here's a set and for sake of testing we'll probably just try out this guy here because it is the closest in design to this one so we'll do these two probably in our test here next and uh, for the Hercules the part number for this set is gonna be six four six seven three and I have another set here too because it's missing one in it, and that's going to be this last one on this side here. This one's going to line up more so with that guy. So you have to buy two sets to essentially get the same thing, but you know, ultimately it's up to you what you want. If you're more of a Hercules and Harbor Freight kind of guy, then I get it. You could go this route, or you could go all in one with this tool. And so you, both both will work. But we're going to test them out here now and see how well they perform. All right, guys, here we are with the drill bit, and we've got ourselves a drill, not an impact gun. These are quarter-inch drive, and they do have the quick-release feature that will make you want to think you could use them in an impact, but guys, do not use them in an impact. Maybe if you're using plastics, you could get away with it, but any harder materials, put it in a drill, crank up the speed, and run them fast. Uh, and then, too, you could also add lubricant. We're going to be doing some sheet metal here, so it's not going to be as detrimental. Uh, so, yeah, we'll test them out here real quick side-by-side and see how they do. And we're also gonna time them over here on the timer to see which one does it faster between the two. So we'll get this little lined up here and we'll set the timer and we'll see how fast this could roll through this piece of sheet metal. All right, so we'll make a note here. That went all the way to half inch. So as you see on here, went to half inch. All right, next up is the toolant. We'll try that one out next. We'll clear this, and we'll see how fast and if she gets stuck along the way. All right, that was like nine seconds or less. And we almost got all the way through. She cut further. So we'll pull her back out. She stopped right about at the 11 sixteenths. Sorry, get some focus here. At 11 sixteenths here is where she stopped. So got deeper in the hole. I would say the initial hole cut was actually slightly quicker with the Harbor Freight in comparison to the toolant but once it started going the toolant actually cut more faster and went deeper with it all right so here they are side by side guys we got as deep as you can still see it here marked on a half inch on the harbor freight and then we got all the way to you see it marked here the 11 16 on the toolant 
So Tool did a better job digging in, dug faster. Obviously those four flutes do a great job to help cut. Uh, uh, and yeah, just got more work done. I would say though, uh, for Harbor Freight, they actually had a sharper tip that was able to penetrate just a little bit quicker. So quicker penetration with the Hercules, uh, but overall quickness and depth goes to the Tulant. But I think they're both nice. Now you're gonna ask yourself, where do I get them at? Obviously, uh, Hercules is going to be Harbor Freight, is where you can pick that up at, and I think that set is going to cost around $40 before any traditional sales that are going on. Um, so you can pick it up there, and also this other set, I forgot to give you guys the part number, the HA22-61, if you want to get the slightly larger step-down drill bits. So for this toolet set, the three-piece set, that is going to be found on Amazon. And pricing for that is right around the $60 mark. I know Toolant tends to do sales as well. Uh, I think right now the $60 mark is about a sell. I think it's a little bit more traditionally. So 20 bucks more for the set, but you do get a harder coating. And reviews on these appear to be really good. Uh, a lot of people doing video reviews and also uh, just leaving positive reviews for this drill bit set. So a little bit more expensive. Uh, I'll leave it to you guys. Um, Support-wise, Tulant is still pretty good for support as well. Uh, they give you a warranty, I think, for a year on their products uh, for any breakage that might happen. And Harbor Freight's super easy to deal with too as far as warranties, easy to walk down. So I'd give the leg up to Harbor Freight for being just a little bit easier to go get your warranted items. But uh, I'd say this Tulant set's a mighty good set as well, especially for the hardness and the durability that you're gonna see with a tool set like this. Do you have either one of these tool sets? Do you have a preference of the two? And yeah, always love to hear your thoughts. If you uh, are watching this, give a like and please subscribe so you keep seeing more content like this. And we'll talk to you guys soon.